Hey guys, welcome back to the Nova Show. It's your host, International Nova. And I want to thank you guys for all the music submissions. The music is actually pretty good and you're making it pretty hard on me and my team to choose our first feature. But we will be having our first music feature on Friday's episode. So go in the comments section and keep dropping them links. Now let's get to our music news. Now rapper Fetty Wap was involved in a pretty bad motorcycle accident in his hometown of New Jersey this past weekend as he was hit by a car while driving his motorcycle. Now Fetty Wap is in stable condition, but according to reports has broken his leg in three different places. Now aside from his injuries, Fetty Wap was also given three citations for not having a valid driver's license, driver's insurance, and registration on his vehicle. Now from the team here at Freedom and the Nova Show, we want to wish Fetty Wap a speedy recovery. Now did hip hop mogul Suge Knight murder Eazy-E? Over the years, there have been a huge amount of conspiracies regarding the rapper's death. Thanks in part to the success of the NWA movie, a lot of these theories have resurfaced. A former artist and protege of Eazy-E, rapper Frost, has recently accused Suge Knight of being behind the death of Eazy-E. According to Frost, before his death, Eazy-E was in the process of having acupuncture sessions and believes those needles were tainted with the AIDS virus and then given to Eazy-E. According to many theories, Suge Knight is also the person behind the death of Tupac Shakur and rapper Biggie Smalls. As a side note, Frost also states that before Easy passed, he told Frost to not ever speak or associate with Suge Knight. Now in other news, according to reports, YouTube is set to launch a two-in-one subscription service. According to this report, a letter from YouTube to its content creators has fueled speculation that Google is set to launch a service starting next month. Now this has angered many people as essentially YouTube is telling its content creators that it needs to agree to the new terms by October 22nd or risk losing all of their videos. Now according to the report, the subscription will include a watch all video service and the YouTube Music Key service which has been in beta since November. Now although no details have been leaked of the video service, many do feel that the service itself will also be ad free. Now this past Monday, Apple has announced record sales for the new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. Now according to Apple, over 13 million iPhones have been purchased this past weekend, which will shadow the record for any previous weekend release of an iPhone. Now I myself have not gotten the phone, but if you have, do me a favor, drop a comment below and let me know how you feel about the phone. Now that's it for today's episode of The Nova Show. Till next time, you guys take care.